At the request of the United States, the UN Security Council has met to discuss Syria and the likely offensive against the last rebel stronghold there in Idlib province. Russia's ambassador to the UN said Western powers were trying to protect the Islamic extremist insurgent groups based there. Unfortunately, Western capitals led by Washington seek to keep the regime of their extremist affiliates from falling and don't use their influence to help the demarcation. Instead, other aggressive plans are plotted with pompous chemical provocations. Meanwhile, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. accused Syria of deliberately attacking civilians in its military operations. First, they surround a civilian area. Next, they make the preposterous claim that everyone in the area is a terrorist, so every man, woman and child becomes a target. Then comes the, quote, starve and surrender campaign where they keep attacking the people until the people have no longer have food, clean water, or shelter. It's a playbook of death. A Syrian government offensive on Idlib could be the seven-year-long conflict's last decisive battle. After a long stalemate, Iran and Russia have helped Damascus turn the course of the war. So far, more than half a million people have been killed and 11 million have fled their homes making Syria's refugee crisis the world's worst.